And now to a CBS 4 News health alert to tell you about on the Zika virus. Tonight, a man in Texas is the latest person to test positive for Zika. And authorities say he got it while visiting Miami. CBS 4's Tiani Jones is live in Wynwood with details. Tiani? And this is just as Zika fears are starting to die down for business owners. And then a man in El Paso pops up with the Zika virus after vacationing here in Wynwood. A Texas leader describes it as a souvenir you don't want to bring home, but an El Paso man did. And it wasn't from some Caribbean island or South American country. He got Zika on vacation in Miami. After months of anticipation and waiting that uh, El Paso has its first uh, Zika case, uh, this is a gentleman who uh, was healthy when he left El Paso, traveled to Florida, happened to go to the area where there has been some transmission of Zika by mosquitoes, uh, came home infected, uh, sick. 30 cases so far, all from Wynwood, and now the fear of the virus spreading to other U.S. cities has become real. El Paso, Texas is one of a handful of U.S. cities that has been closely monitoring Zika. They're now hoping that a man visiting Wynwood didn't bring the virus home to spread. I want to be clear, this person, this man did not get bitten by an infected mosquito in El Paso. But if he did get bit while still contagious, that's how the virus is spread in a certain breed of mosquitoes. This is the first reported case of a tourist getting Zika in Miami. Not something business owners in Wynwood want to hear now that they're seeing visitors coming back, especially after this past weekend's art walk. We had projected actually worse based on the week before. So uh, things were actually better this uh, this weekend over last uh, the prior weekend. So that's a very encouraging sign. Adam Gersten of Gramps Barn Winwood says he believes other places with similar climates will soon have their own Zika problems to deal with. In the long run and maybe even the short term, we'll find that it's really not about Winwood. It's just a kind of a way of life we're going to have to deal with until they get a vaccine. While the Texas man is doing fine now, he can still spread the virus through sex for months. And this is why health officials throughout the country see Zika more than just a Florida or Miami or Wynwood problem. Now, Miami-Dade County has requested more funding for staff and for more traps here in these areas. And the health department says that they will expedite that request for funding. Reporting live in Wynwood, Tiani Jones, CBS 4 News Tonight.